leveled and made it so I merged. What do you have to say about this situation going down, girl? Come on. About the current conversation we're having or the conversation I, you guys had prior? Girl, just say whatever. I don't care. Just get us into something <laughs> else, please. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I am distracted by what I went off about just a second ago. So g- give me a second. <laughs> Oh, okay. Someone else can start a new topic. I'm with it. you, Emerge. I am with you 100%. Mm. Now, the one thing you did say, everybody wants health care. Just because you have health care don't mean you have good health. There's a difference that is between, very true. There is a difference between health care and good health. Yep. Amen. Seed oil. Our healthcare system is extremely messed up in the United States. Okay. Well, insurance is the the reason why prices for healthcare is so high. I'm in the medical field, and it is more the health insurance industry that is causing the current crisis in health in Mm -hmm. American population. They fill it with so much red tape and bureaucracy that you almost can't afford to use your own insurance. Recently, They have started now on Medicare to make it mandatory for all Medicare recipients to go to a supplemental Medicare program. Everyone knows in the medical field that once you go from traditional Medicare, you actually lose benefits and you pay for more of that what used to be very medication services. Because you went to a, a, a health maintenance organization managed Medicare program. It is. It, Yes, or just me. I think we should get rid of health insurance altogether. Yes, because the, when health insurance got introduced, prices for everything skyrocketed. Well, now you're talking about socialism, and that the S word yeah. is very bad in America. No, 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 not free health care. No, 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 no. Not free no. health care. Just no insurance, because back in the day when they didn't have health insurance, things were at a low, lower cost. You still have to pay for it. Now I got a question. Well, what, and, what, what would y'all? Well, no, you're not going to tell me how to thank talk. you, shoes. Thank you. I'm going to talk. We're not. We're just having a conversation. Now, we can disagree. Now, if you do away with traditional health insurance, here's the idea that I would think that would be a good idea is that it would be like a subscription. You just pay the doctor directly that he takes so many patients, but they pay him monthly. Instead of, you know, instead of going to the hospital, you go to your primary care. And then if you need it, so, so- my my really menopause in my forties. So my my really big like non libertarian viewpoint is is that statistically the United States pays more per person in the United States for health care than any other nation. Like per person in the United States we pay more for health care. Per person. We can afford to pay everybody's health care. 
Like, and I know that sounds crazy to say, but we're already paying more than every other nation that has universal health care. And again, I'm not advocating for universal health care, but instead of, you know, funding large bills for people that we shouldn't be funding large bills for because insurance companies are charging them or because of the fact that big pharma is charging abhorrent rates on things. Why don't we instead, and again, it sounds, you know, super anti-capitalism, which again, I'm pro-capitalism, but set rates for certain medical systems. And again, that you could say that cuts development. There's different things we allocate for that. Well, yada, 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 obviously, but there's huge issues going on in the country where we're paying more tax dollars than anybody else is per capita. You know why that is? You know why that is? Because we pay to the universities to create the drugs. They sell the patent to Big Pharma. Big Pharma comes in, buys the patent, and sells it back to us. We done paid for it up front, and then we have to pay for it again. Like, there's a drug that's about 200 it will cost about $200 to make. They sell it back to us for $38,000. Now, we have to pay that. One thing that I can't stand about insurance. No, that's crony uh, capitalism. Is because True. the fact that they treat other people, no matter what, no matter what kind of insurance you have, how they are directly influencing how people that are, you know, that don't have, you know, grade A insurance or people who have Medicaid and shit like that, will basically keep you complacent and they will not do anything to help you and fix you. They will do everything that they can to keep you complacent and they're they're not gonna keep you they're not gonna they're not gonna fix the problem. They're just gonna keep you keep you going in other words. Yep. Well, again, again they don't want to fix the root cause. No as as that's a person that's because you're a customer. As a person that's been in the medical field for that's, the past 18 years, I I do wanna object. <laughs> I'm putting my interjection on that. What I have seen in 18 years is that we as Americans want a silver bullet. We want it to be fast, we want it to be quick, and we want it to be cheap. When, when every, every piece of research has said with diet and exercise and a change of lifestyle, you can become better from the disease process that you have. Well, guess what? Nobody wants to put down their Cheetos. No one wants to get off of behind their computer and walk 12 miles a day or even 10,000 steps. Nobody wants to stop stressing over a foolish internet conversations where we're flooding our bodies with corticosteroids and giving ourselves a false sense of fight or flight where our heart rates are going up. And all of this stress is going on and having um, indelible marks on our bodies, on our Organs. We don't want to stop doing that. It's not give me a pill. Give me a Amen. pill. Amen. 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 Let, let me finish. It's seen right now by the shortage of Ozempic. Okay. Has anyone heard of that drug? It is a diabetic drug that was used to help diabetics. But guess what? Re- uh, studies show that Ozempic will help with weight loss. Well, guess what? Insurance doesn't cover it for weight loss. And one needle of one pin of that shot costs $900. But guess what Americans are willing to do? They are willing to go pay $900 cash for a pin that will help them lose weight that they don't really need to such an extent that now we no longer have the drug for the actual diabetics. It's a shortage. So no, it's not now, necessarily that now I, that the medical field is keeping us sick. Our our sickness, our mental sickness, and wanting to get things done cheaply, fastly, and with as minimal effort as possible is keeping us sick. Materialistic capitalism. Now the one thing I can't. <coughs> no, let just let her talk. I was going to say this. Talk. We keep interjecting. We keep interjecting. I do. All right. Well, we well do. Just can, let I, her hey, talk. can I say this? Can I say this? Now the one thing I got to say. A year and a half ago, I was 525 pounds down. I am down to about 270 right now. I have lost over 100, 250 Look pounds. You. Fuck yes, yeah. good shit. I like to hear. About a sexy black Spider-Man. I 
get you. Same. Agreed. Well, that is not so that's a way. Well, no, 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 no. But also, it's a really apparent to me to say corporations in that kind of light. Like, again, large scale pharmaceutical companies you could use pharmaceutical companies and large scale companies that obviously have used lobbyism to put poison in our bodies. Like, obviously, but to say corporations, like I'm pretty sure Spider Man has a corporation because of the way his business is structured. I'm working on getting my S corporation. My dad has one. <laughs> You know, I mean, majority of business owners have corporations. So saying that corporations are the issue is wrong. Companies, well, but you said, but you said, but you said corporations in general. So again, that's very misleading because a lot of small businesses are corporations because of the way that it's structured and taxes. And that's not true. Because... I have a quick question. Yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Why is it the corporation's responsibility to take care of the American people? So it's not... Who buys individual. things from them? Individual yeah, but it's our choice, it's from... our choice yeah. to buy things from them. We don't have now, to buy things from Amazon or from Walmart. But again... No, They're you should pick that now already. No, just don't buy from them if you don't support you them. Pick better things to buy. Buy, buy, lo buy local. Buy local. Because what we don't, what what we fail to realize is a lot of people have this thought that food is expensive and it's cheaper to just buy the, the unhealthy food. But what what's, sure. what's really happening is if we ate the healthier food, our body would actually get the nutrients that it needs and we would actually eat less food that's the truth yes, of it. so we as as as, a, as an obese as an obese nation we are in a perpetual state of malnutrition we can be overweight, but we are malnourished because our bodies are not getting the nutrients that we need. So we keep eating, searching for the nutrients so our body can graze out the nutrients that we need. So if we actually put food that might cost double what the unhealthy food costs, we would eat less of it. We yep. would need yep. I have to substitute so, my diet with vitamins because I don't get that much nutrients through food anymore. So because of that, I help. take I take like eight nine vitamins a day just to help maintain my diet because I was four hundred pounds at one point. Yes, that helps. It sounds like some of y'all were bariatric patients or had surgery. Yes. Like yes. I am. Yes. Me too. Me too. Twelve years ago, March. I was very active. I became diabetic, and I became diabetic because I used to drink a case of Coke every day. Oh a my case goodness! Of Coke every do. day. Yeah. It's what I drank. I love my soda, and lo and behold, I became a borderline diabetic, and then I tipped over into type two diabetes, and then it clicked in my head. I said. I'm about to die 
because of what I'm putting in my mouth. I'm killing yep. myself. I'm killing myself. And my addiction to sugar is me. And that's most Americans. Our addiction to sugar is killing us. Yeah, that high fructose corn. High, it's, it's true. Syrup is dick. It's not just Amen. all of it. No, refined sugar it's too. It's bread. It's starches. Oh. It's potatoes. It's rice. It's, right? it's yep. white processed food. It's it's your it's your chili that you know the 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 Jimmy Dean's breakfast sauces. Do you know how much sugar is actually in that? They okay. put sugar in it so that it'll turn oh, brown while this. you're cooking it. So I you don't need any. Quick. When you start researching where all this hidden sugar is, you would, and if you even research back to, um, I, and I hate to take it back to slave days, back to the sugar plantations, that's how sugar became a legal drug because sugar is actually a drug. It well, sure. well, sure. it's a stimulant. It's a stimulant. And it changes your brain much in the same way that cocaine does. Yes, but does. the sugar yep. plant. Yep. Yeah, they said well, sugar was originally used for moonshine production. It was originally used. It well, was before used. that, as a stimulant, as a stimulant, it's been a stimulant for a long time. Mm-hmm. So. Hey, Spider-Man, thanks. Yes. Your body's addicted. 